Hey there guys, this is Hendrik Taladar and I'm joined by Otaka Shawa. And today we're looking at a handy little tool called Eve's Pirate Little Helper. You can find it at eve-plh.com. And what it does is it combines several different tools into one, usually for people trying to do PvP. Uh, primarily this was geared towards low sec dwellers. Uh, it can also be used in null sec and uh, parts of it can be used in high sec uh, for those who do high sec warfare. So what it is is an overlay program that works similarly to how EVEMON works in that it doesn't interfere with the game, but it takes game data and allows the user to use it, sort of like how uh, various dscan tools work uh, and other programs. So one of the first tools we're going to look at is the local scan tool. Simply what you do is you control C everyone in your local and it puts it into the Eve Pirate Little Helper window. And then from there you uh, can see various traits such as uh, whether or not they're a Care Bear, if it's likely to be a Sino character, what their last kill was, uh, and what their kill death ratio is. Uh, and so, Takashawa, what do you think of something like this as a PvP or an Eve? I, I mean, I gotta tell you, it seems really useful. Um, this is interesting for me to talk about having not used this piece of software myself personally, I will admit. But I, I have to tell you that one of the things that drives me up the wall is always feeling like I need one more screen. I, I sit and I use three monitors, and if I'm running multiple PvP characters, and I'm in IRC or Jabber or whatever, having to have a whole separate area available for a, a D-scan tool or a local analyzer or whatever could get annoying. Uh, it, it certainly has in many cases. Yeah, and that's that's one of the benefits this game has, or this tool has, is that it is more of a an overlay program, which is pretty nice, but it also can be somewhat annoying. But you can quickly just minimize it and pull it back up on your main monitor. Uh, and so if you go into the settings, you can do different things, such as uh, select coalition standings. You can pull API data from your API key that you put in to eliminate blues that you're uh, friendly with. Uh, you can also determine what type of faction warfare pilots you want to see in local, uh, on the local poll. Uh, and, you know, some other things, uh, such as blue members or uh, whether or not a member is in a coalition or not. You can also pull data from Eve kill and Z kill. That's how to determine whether or not they're Sino characters or ECM characters. One of the things you mentioned earlier is the, the, the minimizability. That's one of the things that I actually really like uh, in looking at this tool, and I'm actually playing with it on one of my clients right now, is that I can move it around and I can chuck it wherever I want, and it doesn't take out... Screen space in the Eve client is already at such a premium. Even on larger screen sizes, it just is incredibly crippling when there just isn't enough room you know when you when you've got another overlay tool that wants to pop on top and i like that i can get complete rid of this if i want and it's back in seconds yeah uh one other handy tool that it comes with is a coalition mapper so basically when you do a d scan of local or a scan of local you can see who is in a certain coalition uh based off their alliance which is is always changing but i mean it's quick and easy to update get the big picture it's it's broad strokes is better than nothing yeah, and so after that, uh, we're going to take a look at the D-Scan tool, which is another way to find fights. All right, so now we're in Kanaka, uh, and what we're going to do here is we're going to hunt down some ships, or try to hunt down some ships. Uh, so what you do is you open up your directional scan tool, you hit Control-C, you then go on to uh, pull all the relevant ships into your D-Scan locator, uh, and what's also really nice is it doesn't just hunt down on what moons and custom offices the character's on. It can also hunt down what uh, sites they're in. So with this D-Scan tool, I mean, a lot of players, a lot of PvPers have spent a lot of time and a lot of effort getting good at D-Scan and good at narrowing in on what they want really quickly. They know the ranges. They know the angles. How does this tool supplement for someone who's a bit more experienced? How, how could this tool help a pilot like me? Uh, it cuts down on the time needing to do all those things. Simply what you do is you hit Control-C. You can... Uh, troll, you control C puts all the data into the D-scan locator. It then gives automatically puts a range on your clipboard, which you can then control V into the uh, range scanner, uh, and then it slowly eliminates down areas where the ship most likely is. And then you get down to your last system or two, and then it tells you exactly where th that is. What you're saying, in a sense, is that it takes the logic out of it on the player side. It does the analysis of the results that the player is generating. Yes. Okay. Interesting. Uh, and what pro is problematic, though, is when you do use it, it does end up uh, 
somewhat flawed where if a ship's moving across the system, you can pick them up and then you could lose them. Uh, so you have to do it like multiple times and obviously that's kind of the whole point of a descan tool, but at the same time you uh, have that speed on your hands so you can do it rather quickly. Yeah, I understand. Alright, so we found a slasher. So what we do is we control C, we control C all the anomalies so that way it knows to pull from those anomalies. Uh, we double click on the ship we want to find. It then gives us a control V. We control V in. We scan. And we do this like several times until, as it whittles down uh, areas that it's most likely going to be in. Uh, so as after a while, you start to see that, hey, there's you know a lot more anomalies than customs offices or planets. So that's a good sign for us. Uh, so then we see it is down to just two anomalies. Uh, and now we found our final anomaly. And so what we do is we hop over to the probe scanner find the anomaly and warp to them. And then we land right on top of them and we can either shoot them, tackle them, whatever. Uh, in this case, uh, as I mentioned, if the ship's moving, we won't uh, actually experience or actually uh, get on top of them because it is susceptible to being uh, messed with if a ship is moving across the system. And then this particular case with this slasher that we're hunting down, it does that. Uh, so that's a, a fault on the program, but it's not a huge pro. It's not a huge problem overall. It seems it seems it relies quite heavily on the use of 360 degree, at least initially, and on not moving the direction of the camera if you're using a narrower degree scan. Is that correct? Yeah. So so what it is rather than a than a precise descan tool is it's a, prof, a a directional tool. It's a precise range finder. More more accurately, it figures out it figures out what range that ship is most likely to be at, and then just guesses at which celestials are at that range, and guesses from that accordingly. Yeah. So then the next tool we're looking at is the POS mapper. Now we're in Onamon, uh, and we're at the sun, and we're going to hunt down POSs. It's a very similar process to the ship scanner. Uh, all all you do is you open up the directional scanner, uh, and there's a little option for a POS mapper. And usually you can use this for like uh, high sec warfare, uh, POS bashing in low sec, null sec, that sort of stuff. So what you do is you just open up the POS mapper, uh, you do a descan, make sure your uh, overview settings aren't selected, uh, it's a very important thing. Do a maximum descan range, control C, it tells you we found 20 POSs in range of your descan. So then you just keep doing the control V, scan, control C, control V, scan, control C until you start to pull up uh, pauses, and we'll start to see a couple that get pulled up in a second or two. Uh, and this is really useful, again, for people who do high sec warfare or are hunting down pauses. Now, what you see now is specifically what moon uh, and what planet that pause is at, the type of pause it is, if it's offline, the name of it, and your last scan. Now, what's also important to note is the hashtag lootable. That's if there's lootable modules on, like a research facility, uh, a moon goo facility, that sort of thing. The pause we find here isn't online, and it doesn't have any lootables, but we're still going to go to it. So we know it's at Planet 5, Moon 10, and it's a medium tower, and its name is Kopec O. Uh, Lachuse. So we're going to warp to Planet 5, Moon 10 in a second, and make sure that it is actually accurate. That's clever, actually. Uh, one of the things that's one of the things that's driven me up the wall for years in in surveying pauses is having to sort of deal with rotating the camera around and incrementing your directional scanner slightly higher and all that shit just to try to, to narrow it down. So I think taking out what is what is not really a skill thing, it's just rote re repetition. Something simplifying that process is quite useful yeah, to me. Yeah, and it's a very... It's a, the control seeing and control Ving, uh the different parts of the D-scan, because uh, you have to control V in the range and control C from what uh, is on that range into the POS mapper tool. It's a bit tedious, but it only took me about, like, what, 20 seconds to do, and I found a POS. So, again, for people who are, like, who are hunting down structures to grind in wars, that'll be really f fast and efficient for them to map out what they what their targets are. And so, for guys like Pandemic Legion, uh, CFC, N3, this can be a really useful tool. Now, there's probably other tools out there that they already use, uh, but this is still like something in the arsenal that they could pull out and use. Can it can it find iHubs? Because iHubs not being globally viewable is the most annoying thing in the world. Uh, as far as I know, iHubs are not scannable. But a future version could maybe implement that. That would be very useful for NullSec folks, I know. Because you can find SBUs, TCUs, stations from everywhere. But iHubs, you have to actually fucking descan for or go to every planet. Yep. 
Uh, and so as you can see, we found the uh, the tower, and that's pretty much it. That's Eve Pirate's little helper in a nutshell. It's a very small, very quick, easy to use program. Uh, the guy who created it did a tremendous job making it, and you know he's providing an, a cool little program for people to use in their warfare. Now we do have to stress that potentially this could be uh, deemed not capable to use by CCP, but as far as most people can understand, it is no different than uh, various dscan tools, uh, evemon, and other third-party programs, so it's perfectly within the EULA. But you always want to keep up to date with what CCP says on these sort of things before actively using it. Uh, but for right now, at least, it is perfectly acceptable to use. Uh, for Crossing Zebras, I've been Hendrik Taladar, joined by Otaka Shawa, and you can visit us at crossingzebras.com for more uh, articles and videos.